What's going on guys, Mikkel here. In this video, we're gonna be discussing a very important topic, and that is why different crypto communities have so much hate for Ripple and XRP. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about something that actually took me a very long time to fully understand, and I really think it's important that you guys fully grasp this concept. It's so confusing when you first get into crypto, why so many different groups have so much hate or get so emotional over the idea of XRP and Ripple. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking this down for you guys and showing you guys why this is the case and what is really going on behind the scenes here. It's really hard hard to wrap your head around at first, but I think what you guys are going to realize after this video is that the answer is actually super simple. Make sure you stick around for this whole thing. If you guys are new to this channel or come here all the time, make sure to like and subscribe. It is such a great way you can help support this channel for free, and it means so much to me. If you guys are looking for a good place to buy some XRP, make sure you check out the link down in the description below. With that said though, let's jump right into it and I hope you guys enjoy the content. So guys, I wanna start this video by going over what spurred me to actually make this video today, but towards the end, we're gonna get into the specifics of why these different groups, why the Bitcoin maxis are so upset and so emotional about everything XRP and Ripple. And I think that's one of the most important parts of this to really get your head around. So make sure you stick around for that. So I want to start off with what really got this conversation going today, and that was that Chris Larson went to Twitter to talk about his opinion on why Bitcoin should move away from proof of work as its consensus model. He tweeted out, last year I published an op-ed calling for Bitcoin to consider a move away from proof of work to a low energy validation method. Today I'd like to share an update on how my thinking has evolved on this front. While I still believe moving to a low energy consensus mechanism is the most climate friendly and long term solution, I recognize it is no easy feat. He then goes to talk about why it's so important that we start implementing some of these more climate friendly and low energy consensus mechanisms because he believes it will help Bitcoin and Ethereum and all proof of work cryptocurrencies have more long term staying power. He says that he's very bullish on Bitcoin and Ethereum in the long term. He just thinks it's important to get the conversation moving on why it's important to start pushing forward more clean narratives and more con clean consensus models for how to make these cryptocurrency scale into the future. He in no way is launching any kind of attack on any of these proof of work coins. He's just trying to get a conversation going on how they can improve in the long term. One of the biggest knocks on Bitcoin is its energy consumption. And it's really the only thing really holding Bitcoin back from wide scale adoption. So I actually think it's really good that Chris Larson is getting this conversation going and kind of bringing or trying to bring people together on how this problem can be fixed. Ultimately, I think it's very important for Bitcoin to tackle this problem, and I think talking about it is the best way to get there. Yet, despite what seemed like a very reasonable and good intention proposal, the Bitcoin maxis came out in attack mode. And right here, we have Warren Davidson, who the XRP community has been having a lot of trouble with recently, and he said, in other words, please ban Bitcoin, hashtag BTC, and says no. Well, Nothing Chris Larson said in this entire proposal had anything to do with banning Bitcoin, and he goes as far to say as he believes Bitcoin has long-term staying power, and he in no way wants to see Bitcoin go away. He just wants to get a conversation going on how he can help fix and how the Bitcoin community can work together to get rid of one of Bitcoin's biggest flaws. I don't understand where Warren Davidson got, please ban Bitcoin from anything Chris Larson said. And Martin Valak tweeted to uh, Warren Davidson, and he said, when you say in other words, do you mean someone else's words? Because this literally is not what he is saying at all. I don't know what has gotten into you lately, but maybe just keep an open mind and educate yourself before speaking out. And I completely agree. Judging by based off what Warren Davidson is saying here, it's like he didn't even read a single word of what Chris Larson was saying. He says right here, Chris Larson, Bitcoin is and will remain highly important for crypto globally. 
I don't understand how that could possibly mean please ban Bitcoin unless you didn't read a single thing Chris Larson said. And Chris Larson actually responds to Warren Davidson. He says, this is the exact opposite of what I am advocating for. I hold Bitcoin. I want to be, I want it to be successful in the future. I'm being pragmatic about what's going on. When ETH completes the switch, BTC is going to be the outlier on energy usage. So right here, he's perfectly telling Warren Davidson right to his face, this is not what I'm asking for. I just want to get a conversation going on one of Bitcoin's biggest flaws and how the community can come together to try to fix this. It is such a reasonable thing and you have politicians who are supposed to be helping decrease the maximalism and create an equal playing field coming out and saying, this means please ban Bitcoin. This was not the narrative Chris Larson was putting out at all. But later in this video, I'm going to show you guys why these people get so emotional about Ripple and XRP and why they see anything like this as such a threat. Let's keep moving though. And I tweeted out, does Warren Davidson realize that Bitcoin is literally used in Ripple products? No one wants to ban Bitcoin. Hashtag X XRP, hashtag BTC, and I just think this is one of the most comical parts. Ripple literally uses Bitcoin in their liquidity hub. So for Warren Davidson to be going out there and thinking that Ripple wants to ban Bitcoin, it couldn't be further from the truth. And Chris Larson explicitly says in the memo that he has no intentions on wanting to see Bitcoin goes away. And he, just like the rest of us, all love Bitcoin. We all want it to succeed, but we hate the maximalism in the community. And let's keep moving though and this is really when we get into why different bitcoiners why different people like warren davidson hate ripple so much and that is because xrp and ripple are achieving and doing everything that bitcoin promised digital asset investor tweeted out in response to plan b plan b said ripple co-founder wants to change bitcoin into a shitcoin a la ripple essentially saying that the ripple co-founder wants to turn bitcoin into xrp and digital asset investor said ah uh, yes, the shitcoin that's cheaper, faster, and more, more scalable, and more energy efficient than Bitcoin, that shitcoin. Essentially pointing out that all these different people completely ignore the fact that XRP works, solves all the same problems as Bitcoin, and does so in a cheap, fast, and energy efficient method, all while being completely decentralized and open source. This is something that Bitcoiners are more scared about than anything. They know XRP is a next generation Bitcoin. It solves all the problems Bitcoin can't. Bitcoin set out to be digital money and Bitcoin was very successful as a prototype. It works great, but it's simply not scalable for the economy of our modern day society. XRP solves these problems. XRP is such a better candidate to be digital money than Bitcoin, and this is what Bitcoiners can't stand. They are so terrified of XRP becoming the thing that they want Bitcoin to be that they feel the need to attack Ripple and attack XRP at every single opportunity. And this is just further proof of why Bitcoiners are so scared of Ripple and XRP. Here is Rosie Rios. Her name is literally on almost every single dollar bill in circulation. And she says XRP is one of the few cryptocurrency options out there that has a credible and legitimate use case. So financial institutions can use it to settle cross-border payments. That is what... Plan B is calling a shitcoin something that the former treasurer of the United States who has her name on almost all the money in circulation saying it's one of the few credible cryptocurrencies. This is why they're so scared. They know XRP has such a legitimate shot to become the future of money. And this is what they wanted Bitcoin to be. I hold Bitcoin. I love Bitcoin. But Bitcoin is not going to create a new financial system. And that is what the Bitcoiners are so upset about and why they feel they need to attack XRP at every opportunity. Rosie Rios also went on to say that when she came from the treasury, she actually left to design the future of money. Then she moved to Ripple to design the future of money. I said all the pieces are falling into place and I was responding to an article by The Block that said the Treasury, not the Fed, will create the new digital dollar. I thought it was so interesting that Rosie Rios had just come from the Treasury and now is working at Ripple to design the future of money. And while she is saying XRP is one of the few cryptocurrencies with credible and legitimate use cases. This is why Bitcoin 
Bitcoiners are scared. This is why they feel the need to attack Ripple because they know XRP solves everything that they wanted Bitcoin to solve and they cannot stand it. They know Bitcoin can never win out on technology. So their only way to try to get around it is to try to launch tax against everything XRP and everything Ripple because they know they can't fight it in on a fairer and level playing field. They know XRP has better tech and is better positioned to be everything they wanted Bitcoin to be so badly. Last of all, I wanted to show you this because this was kind of mind blowing and I'm not going to play the whole video for you guys, but this is Jerome Powell and he says, and this is him talking about the future of cryptocurrencies in the United States. We know Ripple and many different companies who are using XRP directly work with the Fed. We have seen Ripple and XRP all over Federal Reserve documents. And I said right here, I can't wait to hear Powell say the word XRP. And let me just play you a quick snippet of what he says here. As you, as you pointed out, there is no question that we are in a time of rapid technological change in the financial sector, <clears throat> especially in payments. And as is often the case at times like this, there's a mixture of innovations that will have lasting and perhaps salutary effects and those that will turn out to be mostly hype. You think the head of the for do you think the former head of the treasury, Rosie Rios, who left the treasury to design the future of money is working at a hype payments company? No. She was put there for a reason, and that is because Ripple and XRP are going to change the landscape for the future financial system, and Bitcoin maxis can't stand it. Thank you so much for coming. I hope this video helped you understand this issue a little bit more. This is what I really think all of what is really behind all the hatred for Ripple and XRP. But at the end of the day, it could not be better news for us. Thank you so much for coming. For now, Mickle out.